Evaluation is like a cake. <laughs> and sometimes, especially when we evaluate advanced projects, the cakes are pretty sophisticated. With a lot of fillings, with a lot of stuffing, with different tastes. But your project <coughs> is number four. The project is about the word choice, but we take we keep in mind that it's also about the structure and the clarity of the goals. So that's what I will be evaluating you. As a matter of fact, I believe most of my evaluations are prevalently, or my evaluations are prevalent critical. But in your particular case, it will be more graceful evaluation. So let me be more specific. What I, what I liked about your speech. Well, firstly, the language was beautiful. The metaphors were beautiful. I like how you compared your wardrobe to a cake with too much stuffing, with different tastes, and you had to simplify it. And I like how you said that sales with discounts was like a fire to butterflies. Uh, I was attracted to that. Beautiful language, this is for me personally. I also loved how you moved the stage, on the stage. It was pretty effective. You stood at one point pretty comfortably, made your point, moved, and it looked naturally and it looked feeling like when you moved. You smile at people. You also used vocal already pretty effectively. So overall, overall, it looked like a pretty good, I would even say professional speech. Great job. It is pr pretty difficult to criticize you. Because firstly, I'm not criticizing your body language, your vocal variety, because the project is on the fourth one. It's my personal principle. I don't need to say that. But I found one thing. I found one thing. It's not, and, it, and it's not even <coughs> a problem of yours, but something you could consider for the future. Now, the way I saw it, your speech was about persuading us that you should cut your wardrobe because too large a wardrobe it, it is a problem. Is a problem. And the thing is, you both. The outline you chose was problem, solution, and then you supported the solution. And the, the thing was, in terms of persuading me, a large wardrobe was a bad thing, you did a great job. I only wear one t-shirt all the time. You persuaded me, great job. <laughs> and in terms of instructions on how to do that, you gave some advice, right? In the middle of your speech, how to do that. But you didn't repeat the advice. So while the impression that it was important to cut the wardrobe stuck. I'm not sure that the instructions <coughs> how to do it stuck in people as well. If you want people to remember your concrete specific advice, you should repeat it in the conclusion. And that's about it. Congratulations on a really nice speech. I don't know why you repeated it.